What's up, Combo Cabal? I am Brian G. Cook, and today we are playing Bonus Round Ruby Storm. Recently, we featured a video with Tony Scaponi of the Epic Gamble. Ruby Storm was sort of the predecessor to that deck. It was the deck that made Tony interested in playing Red Storm Combo and Legacy, and it's often thought of as an older build of the Epic Gamble, but in reality, they're two different decks. At this point, the Epic Gamble and Ruby Storm are just not the same deck anymore. So we are playing the classic bonus round list. And bonus round works well with a card like Past in Flames because you're actually playing instants and sorceries in your deck instead of a whole bunch of artifacts. So the idea is that you cast bonus round and you copy your seething songs your right of flames all that good stuff and even a new payoff from commander legend boulders gate inspired tinkering you exile the top three cards of your library you can play them until your next turn and you get to make three treasure tokens so when you copy it with a bonus round it actually is plus one mana and six cards which is really really powerful so we're going to, you know, do the classic Ruby Storm thing today. It does get to play Galvanic Relay, aka Red Necro, that we play in the Epic Storm, which is pretty sweet. Uh, looking over this deck list, it looks very, very stock. I don't see anything here that I strongly disagree with, other than one sideboard card, Banefire. I don't think this card is particularly good. So the idea is that you can play Wish or Burning Wish, get grape shot and then get bane fire and like you have a win condition that can play around meddling mage and i don't know it's like a little too cute in my opinion i don't think we're actually interested in something like bane fire i would personally rather just play a fourth copy of leyline of the void or more copies of defense grid like one grid for wish is a little bit too cute i'd rather just have more powerful cyborg cards at least that's how i feel but uh, we'll play the deck list submitted today from our friend Leon. Leon, thank you for this donation deck. I do appreciate it and your support here at the channel. That's my deck tech. I hope you enjoyed it. Nice, short, and sweet. Let's go play some bonus round Ruby Storm and Legacy. I'll see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. We're on the Dragon's Infect Legend Fenris Cloud. We will keep this in as a turn one Ruby Medallion. So something pretty nice about this deck list is there's only a single reserve list card and you don't even need to play it. And that's City of Traders. You do have Ancient Tomb, which is a little bit expensive, but for the most part, this deck doesn't play Lion's Eye Diamond, which makes it a great budget choice for Legacy. And it's interesting that the Ruby Medallion just snap resolves. So I think you could maybe make the assessment that maybe our opponent doesn't have Force of Will in hand, but we'll see. That's a bladed agent. Four cards left. Draw. That's a spicy one. Um let's cast it. Song. Just snap resolves, huh? So we have the choice here of playing Bergy to make mana or play the back half of Bergy. And I think this isn't the Epic Gamble where we have Echo of Aeons to make a whole bunch of cards. So I think I'm going to play the front half of Bergy here. Four mana floating, mana Morphos. And there's no real reason to make another color. Like, red is just as good as anything else in this deck. So we're just going to make red mana. Why don't I have my commander? I'd like to do both. Um, let's play Reckless Impulse. Now we can play the back half. Let's play a Horn Fell. Three mana Horn. You love to see it. Discard this Ancient Tomb. 
Manamorphose, I'd love to cast that. Thank you. We'll make a red. Okay, so I can play Burning Wish and go get a bonus round at this point with one mana floating. No, uh, that's not true. I forgot. Uh, Bergy plus the Ruby Medallion. Uh, let's play the Burning Wish. I guess I could go get Reforged the Soul as well. Actually, Past and Flame seems ridiculously good here. I think we actually want Past and Flames. Let's discard the Desperate Ritual. I don't think we're our bottleneck is mana here. And another Jusk as well. This Reckless Impulse is free, so let's play it. Storm Eat. I had a wish. That's lovely. Let's cast this and exile the top three. So this Jessica's will cost one mana. Another Ruby Medallion. That's pretty good. We're going to flame. Storm is 11. So now this Jessica's will is completely free. Okay, we finally hit a bonus round. Storm 13. And our opponents conceded the game. Turn 2 win versus Infect. How about that? Some classic Ruby action. So once again, this deck does not have Lion's Eye Diamond, which makes it fairly budget friendly. Ancient Tomb is kind of expensive. City of Traders is very expensive, but you don't have to play this card. You could play something like Sandstone Needle instead, which is completely acceptable. And outside of that, this deck is fairly affordable. I think Ruby Medallions are like 20 bucks. Ancient Tombs are somewhere between like 30 and 35. I understand. If you're looking to build this deck, you might think, Bryant, four or $500 for a Legacy deck is still a lot of money. I get that, but Magic is an expensive hobby to begin with. And compared to other legacy decks, this is extremely affordable. That's my main point. But back to the matchup. We're facing Infect. Do we want to change anything here? Could board in something like Blast Zone? I don't think I'm really interested in that. I'm just going to resubmit. What could go wrong? I do think that if I was making or playing this deck list by myself, I'd probably be playing four ley lines, but I'd also be interested in more cyborg copies of Defense Grid and maybe some of maybe less of some of these cutesy cards in the sideboard. Um this hand is really slow. I think we can do better. Okay, this is better. Maybe bottom the relay. Our best draw is likely Ancient Tomb. Turn one, fetch Tropical, Noble Hierarch. You got it. Draw. Ding. We're going to play out Lotus Petal because it allows us to play through days. Ruby Medallion. And that resolves. We will just pass the turn here. Sylvan Library. Okay. And they're passing. Draw. Oh no, I don't, I, I, I felt the pause. Yep, and I got punished for playing around days. Okay. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. They have two cards. I'm going to play the Reckless Impulse. <sighs> okay. I was a little bit nervous about letting them untap on Sylvan Library, and obviously I got punished. Now they can draw two extra cards here. They're at 11. We'll take one down to 15. Draw. So if I play Burning Wish here, what's the best thing I can get? Uh, Inspired Tinkering costs four. I could only play it for three. Reforge I can't cast. Passing Flames doesn't have a whole lot going on. I think I'm just going to pass. 
So they get to Sylvan Library once again. They paid four life, going to seven for an extra card. No infect creature yet. Let's draw a card. See if we can get something good. Shatter Skull. Not really what I wanted here. I think I'm just going to pass. Opponent now at six. No life paid. There's a bladed agent. We are in the danger zone. Draw. Let's play the Manamorphose. Red, red. So if I play bonus round and it gets hit by force of will, I think I'm actually just out of this game. <clears throat> well, I actually have a land drop. Hmm. Undo. So if I... All right, so bonus round hypothetically gets forced. I cast Burning Wish with four available mana, five. I mean, if it gets forcible, I actually have a lethal Banefire. After I was trash talking that card. All right, let's try bonus round. If it's something like Fluster Storm, obviously it's worse for me. Could also play the Inspired Tinkering. Uh, actually, no, I can't play the Banefire line because it allows me to. Play, it requires me to play two lands for turn, which isn't legal. All right, so the opponent has four cards in hand. Let's play Burning Wish. So that resolves. Uh, I can get Grape Shot, which would be one storm short of killing them. Hmm. Or I could get Empty, but the problem with Empty is I can't block the agent anyway. Why am I one storm short? I think I'm supposed to just grab Grape Shot. As much as it sucks. Alright, and then we'll cast it, target them. One at Agent, one at Hierarch, the rest at them. I imagine that they have something like Invigorate here to save their Agent, but I can't afford to put five on the Agent. Because, like, what if they just had, like, Mutagenic Growth Invigorate? I'd feel really dumb. They force a will to copy. All right, well, if you've got it all, you've got it all. One has three cards. There's the Invigorate. There's Berserk. So they had a really good hand. They had Force of Vigor into Days, Fluster, Force, kill you in one swing. Pretty strong. All right, but we're on the play for game three. And I'm just going to resubmit. Yes, I'd like to be on the play. Sure, this hand seems fine to me. Ancient Tomb Ruby Medallion. In fact, this hand's pretty powerful. Tundra. Okay, I got really nervous that was going to be a deafening silence. So they probably have something in their deck that's not good for us in white, so we might want to move quicker if we can. They did not shuffle off Ponder. Let's test the waters with a seething song. Reckless Impulse. Galvanic Relay, that's a card I like. Lotus Petal. Rite of Flame. Past in Flames? And they play Force of Will. They paid the life already, we're just waiting to see the blue card exiled. Pitches Days. Okay. So now we can play the Galvanic Relay for 7. Pass the turn. I can play the Ancient Tomb on the following turn. 
I'm nervous about whatever this white splash is for. Listener Elf. Okay. Not punished. Draw. Another relay. Let's start on a Manamorphose. Red, red. Four cards in their hand. Let's attempt to play a bonus round. Good stuff. Okay, let's play the Fiery Islet. Sacrifice this for red. Play Manamorphose. Auto yield. Red, red. And red, red. The bonus! Okay. Things are about to start getting wild. Right of flame. Okay, our opponent is not hitting F6, so they could have something. Seething Song. We have a whole lot of red mana. Manamorphose. We'll make some other colors to make them think we might have something else. I don't know. All right, another ruby medallion. It's pretty good. Let's attempt to... F I guess no matter what, this Passing Flames is probably going to resolve. We just have so much mana. And our opponent concedes the game. You'll love to see it. Ruby Storm, the budget legacy deck taking match number one. That was sweet. I will see you in the second match. Don't go anywhere. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Match 2. A hand that doesn't open up on Ancient Tomb Rumi Medallion. I don't like that. But I do think I'm going to keep this hand. It's probably fine enough. Scrubland. Thoughtseize. Okay, well, we have a pretty good hand for a Pox-esque deck. Because our hand has lots of action in it. I think the Shatter Skull Smashing is probably the card I'm afraid of most being discarded here. Because it is my second land. They take Burning Wish. Okay. Draw. Thoughtsy's bug. Pass the turn. Delta. So they're not a pox esque deck. This could be something like Doomsday. Strix, okay. Draw. Alright, let's try Reckless Impulse to see what we can get here. Land Ruby Medallion would be perfect. Lotus Petal bonus round. All right, we just have to pass. I can't do a whole lot with the uh, the bonus round. Opponent has three lands, five cards in hand. Ouch, nineteen. In tomb. Okay. What are we doing here? They get Gristle Brand. That's an enemy dead. So you're a dragon? I believe that's what this means, is that they're on dragon. All right, they have 10 cards in hand. They're at 10 life. They discard Royal Gorger Dragon Thoughtseize. Yep. Desper Ritual. Force of Will. Yep. Womp womp. Okay, so if they have another animate dead, what they can do is return the World Gorger and draw their deck and make a whole bunch of mana using Baleful Strix in these lands. Um, I think they need a way to end the loop unless you can somehow target Gristlebrand twice when it's in the graveyard with the animate dead. 
But I guess like maybe they just draw until Entomb and that's good enough. I mean, maybe they just had a win last turn. If they had just gotten Dragon, unless that was already in their hand. Which might have been the issue. So now another Animate Dead will do here. Thoughtseize, so they're going to six. Burning Wish down. So we need them to somehow not have another Force of Will in hand. <clears throat> or even a Daze. Daze would stop me here. Skirts Ponder and a bunch of lands. Okay. Ancient Tomb is good. Let's play Manamorphose. Red, red. Wish we would have drawn something else there. Seething Song. And they're going to force Seething Song. Yep. Pass the turn. So now we'll take an attack for seven, going down to two, and that's enough to shut off the Ancient Tomb. Another Prana Marsh, and I'm at one. And another enemy dead on the World Gorger, so they've executed the combo. So everything becomes exiled, and then the World Gorger Dragon dies. Everything will come back into play. These will trigger, and I'll lose the game. So right now they're selecting targets for their permanence. Okay, so they're deciding to loop again instead of just winning the game. And it looks like now they'll win. Okay, so we've lost game number one. But we do have some ley lines of the void in the sideboard that we're definitely interested in here. So let's bring those in. I think relay's probably not good enough for this matchup. It's just a little too slow. So I don't mind boarding those out. Should I bring in the grid? I mean, Shatter Skull isn't great here, but I, it is a land. They have white in their deck, so maybe we don't want Blast Zone instead of the Shatter Skulls. I'm going to try this out. Game two. Sure. Maybe I suppose to mulligan the ley line. I don't know. Mountain pass. Like this seems like a reasonable hand of cards, and I don't even know how cold their deck is the ley line. So like, do I really want to mulligan to it? All right, I'll take two reckless impulse. They'll cast brainstorm. Reckless impulse. Okay, I love the Ruby Medallion reveal. Two black for a Dothy Voidwalker. Okay. Draw. Let's play the Medallion. I wonder if they sideboard into like a Helm combo. Let's try out Seething Song. That resolves. Let's just as will to exile the top three. Make some get some cards. Bonus round. We showed them the ley line of the void, unfortunately. Let's cast the bonus round, going down to two red mana floating. So that resolved. Play Lotus Petal to play around days. I think mana's the choke point, so I'm going to Use Jessica's will to make mana here. Same targets. Play Wish. So I can cast two spells out of the exile. I think I want to play Inspired Tinkering. Like, we have the bonus round. This makes six cards or gives us six cards and makes six treasures. It just seems perfect. Okay. Storm is eight. Right of flame. All this mana. Let's fiery confluence. 
Deal two to each creature. And two to each opponent. Oh, I messed that up. Uh, I could have done one. Yeah, I could have played that a little bit better. It's fine, though. Reckless Impulse. Another bonus round. Good deal. Play this Manamorphose. Red, red. Black, black. Red, red. Black, black. Let's get a Leela into the Void onto the table just for good measure. Seething Song. Okay, so the Storm's 15. Grape Shot should just be lethal now. Burning Wish. Yes. Let's grab Grape Shot. And that's enough for the opponent. Okay, so we are now going to game number three. On the draw versus this Dragon deck. Game three. No Red Source. Mulligan. Not looking so good. Mulligan that as well. Okay. I don't love this hand, but I don't know. Are we really supposed to ship this? We'll look at my hand and be just as disappointed as I am. We took Lotus Petal. Sure. Draw. Give me an Ancient Tomb. Tundra into Baleful Strix. Okay. So one of the scary things about this list being white is that Teferi is a clean answer to this ley line. All right, we have to pass. We're falling pretty far behind here. Fluted Delta. Five cards in hand. We'll take one going down to 19. And there's Teferi. Yep. Didn't see that coming. Draw. Wow. All right. So we are not going to win this game. Prana Marsh will lose one. Dothy Voidwalker. They plus to Fairy. Draw. Killing me, Smalls. Pass the turn. The fairy goes up to three. We'll take four going down to 13. Another Strix. Draw. All right, I'm just going to call it here. We can't come back. We are one in one. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match three, we're on the play and a chance at redemption. This seems fine. Keep. We have a turn one horn. I mean, we have to go all in, but if they're not playing blue, turn one horn is very, very powerful. So mountain, lotus petal. Lotus Petal. Let's put Seething Song on the stack. Horn. No! Why are you like this? Why? Blue players are the worst. They suck the fun out of everything. Looks like they're on Death Shadow. Yep. Okay. Pass the turn. Two black mana. 
All right, uh, that sucks. Draw. Pass. I shouldn't have F6, that's my own fault. I could have cycled that trying to hit uh, a land. My own fault. Sorry, I was a little defeated after the hem, and I shouldn't have f 6 because if I had cycled that and drawn a land, it's one more sp card in hand. It's my own fault. Draw, pass. We pick up another watery grave going down to 10. All right, so they're just pondering and passing the turn by the looks of it. Draw, let's play Burning Wish. See if we can go get past in flames. By being dazed. Classic. All right. You might be wondering, Bryant, why play into the days? Why don't you just wait? Well, if I get him to Torok again, that's way worse. Pass the turn. All right, so they're passing four cards in hand. Ruby Medallion. Can this one resolve, please? I am being dazed again. Dress down. No, it resolves. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Another ponder. They did not shuffle this time. Five cards. Sure. So they have four cards in hand. Uh, I mean, one of them is probably a removal spell. Should I even play this? Like a snuff out or something? I'm just going to pass. I don't think I want to play that out. Yep, 15. Draw. Shatter Skull. So I can in theory play Horn here. They didn't have days a couple turns ago. Let's try it. Horn. Stubborn Denial. Bummer. Ouch. I go to seven. Draw. Bonus round. Counterspell it, please. Force pitching force. Galvanic relay for three. You're my only hope. Manamorphose. Right of flame. Bonus round. So you're saying there's a chance. Opponent gets in. We'll go to two. They have four cards in hand. They pitched a force of will last turn. Let's start on the bonus round. Right of flame. Come on, give me pass in flames, please. Okay, we need to find action here. Red. That could be a horn. Red. Play horn. We need this to resolve. Oh my. I almost conceded this game on turn three. Here we are. Inspired tinkering? Oh, that's so good. All right, let's discard the seething song so we can play a land oh i don't want to play ancient tomb i'm at two life so let's play seething song make some mana inspired tinkering seems pretty broken in bonus round ruby right of flame Nearly infinite mana. Play Wish. All right, Reckless Impulse. And do another Reckless Impulse. We're just doing the thing. Reckless Impulse. Let's play a Ruby Medallion. Bonus round. 
Lotus Petal, Play Mountain, and Burning Wish. Yes, we'll grab Grape Shot. Yes, we'll get Past in Flames. Yes, we'll get Ab Right of Flame. Try not to give them too much information here. Uh, I think I have to select one, so well, I clicked yes. If I clicked no, that wouldn't have been an issue. I'll grab another Inspired Tinkering. Grape Shot at you. Okay. Click, click, boom. A little surprised we came back and got this one. I almost conceded this on turn three when the him happened. Lucky duck. I don't think we're supposed to make any adjustments here. Like, we have a really small sideboard because the wish board is so big. So, like, you really want to leave the defense grid for the wish, I think. Maybe you could board it in over something like the inspired tinkering. But tinkering just won us the game. And then we have the ley lines, and this obviously isn't a ley line matchup. Clunky. I don't think we're supposed to keep this. Better. Bottom of land. Scalding Tarn. Cycle Street Wraith. Again. Thoughtseize. So they're going to 11, and we're probably going to be losing this Ruby Medallion. Draw. Play the Mountain and pass the turn. They just played a flooded strain and passed. I think we're just passing. No need to make the first move here. We want to build up a whole bunch of mana and cards and really take advantage of the Galvanic Relay that we have. Um, let's play the Ancient Tomb. I'm aware that our opponent has Thought Seize and we saw him to Torok, but I just don't think we want to relay for like three. It seems pretty risky. I had a feeling that they were sitting on Wasteland because they paused on one of my turns for a long time. Play the Shatter Skull, pass. They're at 11. They get Rabbit Underground C. We're being hemmed. Damn it. And they hit the relay. That was like a worst case scenario. <laughs> like I wanted both of those cards. Let's Reckless Impulse. One has four cards in hand. Interesting. They're going after a Reckless Impulse. Sure. Pass. Blue, blue, blue. What is this? It's a Murktide? It is a Murktide, so they have a big dragon. Three cards left. Burning Wish. And I've been stubbed. All right, let's finally play this as a land. I think now that they've created a clock, I'm pressured into playing it. I wanted to hold it for a little bit in case we needed it. And we weren't really needing the land drop, but I feel like now with the Jessica's Will being our action spell, I will need that mana. Is this another Murktide? Oh no. So they're attacking for 7, and then next turn 11. So not lethal, not yet at least. Draw. Let's try to Jessica's Will for 3 cards. Force of Will, pitching Force of Will. Okay. Have to get incredibly lucky on our turn. They have one card in hand. No! No! What a rip! Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. I'm going to concede, and then I want to look at the top three to see if they had drawn, like, a land, what would have happened. One, two, three. Okay, we would have fizzled anyway. Let's try it again. 
Game three. And just doesn't do anything. I have to mulligan. So this is a turn one ruby medallion if they don't have a force. I think I, I'm pressured into keeping this, but it doesn't feel very good. Bright of Flame. Ruby medallion. Okay, so that resolved. That's good to see. I wish that this cyborg had more ways to combat blue decks in it. Like, it, it feels bad that blue decks get to board in a bunch of hate against you and you have nothing for them in the post-board games. Thoughtseize. They should take the Reckless Impulse here. Let's see what they do. They elect to take Burning Wish. Wow. Let's try the Impulse. Am I going to get dazed? Bummer. Pass the turn. They replay the land and they're passing. Draw. Try it again. Pass. There's no point in sitting here like waiting when we know that they have Hymnotrock in their deck. Like I got punished in game two for waiting. So I think we should just cast her spells. So I could Ritual into Wish floating one. I don't think that does anything super meaningful. I should just pass. One with five cards in hand, two. Two blue mana. Is this for a dress down? Petty theft. That hurts. Yep, we're just being bullied. Okay, they have four cards. Ponder. I think my best draw is like an Ancient Tomb, so that way I can replay the Medallion through a daze. But also have some mana to play these later. Alright, they're down to three cards. Draw. Pass. Merchide Regent with three cards in hand, and it's an 8-8. Eight eight. My time is running out. So I can play Rite of Flame that makes three mana. But then it doesn't do anything, so I think I'm just going to pass. So we'll take eight going down to twelve. And then on our end step they can cast the Brazen Borrower. Another thought sees. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not winning this. They took Medallion instead of the right. That's interesting. It probably just doesn't matter. Okay, pass. We're going to four. Draw. Right of flame that would make three red if it resolves. Okay, so we are now one and two. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those All same right, links match number four. Let's see if we can bounce back. We're on the draw. We need one more mana source to be able to do something pretty cool with this. I don't know. I'm going to try keeping it. I've been mulliganing hands into worse hands with this deck. I feel like it doesn't mulligan super well. So I'm going to take the chance on drawing one more mana source. Okay, it looks like we're facing eight cast. Uh, I imagine it's a tough matchup because it kicks the crap out of every other storm deck I've ever played. Okay. They get a few bobble triggers here. Going back up to five. Draw. That was good. Let's try playing this evening song. Storm 2. Jessica's Will targeting you to make plus 2 mana. That resolves. Okay. Let's see what we can get with this Burning Wish. I mean, I might empty here if this resolves. Like, I don't know if ACAST can actually beat an empty. Maybe it can. Hmm. So they know that I have relay. Or, well, they don't know that I have relay. So if I 
get right of flame here. I go up to six. Play wish. I'm a mana short of empty. Is ten enough? I don't know. I just don't know. All right, we'll do it. Let's empty these warrens. And the final copy. Hey, they've all resolved. Pass the turn. Land. Okay. Lotus Petal. Lion's Eye Diamond. Narset. Okay. They find Echo of Aeons. They had a Force Will that they did not cast last turn. We have been spun the wheel on. So this looks more like Urza Stompy than it does eight cast. Okay, maybe it's a little bit of a hybrid. I don't know. They're at 20. I'm just going to go all out at them. The Narset doesn't matter to me. They're at 11. Next turn, I can hit them for possibly eight. All right, so they played a Chromox and printed Force of Will. Repeal. They could have repealed the Goblin token. Trying to up that storm count, I guess. If only Mind's Desire was legal. If only. But also, they could just be repealing the Mox Opal and not having to lose cards. Maybe they just hate having Force Wills in hand. Or what they're trying to do is spin the wheel again with Echo, and they want to remove the forces from the deck because they're trying to win this turn. Alright, this time they picked up the Mox Opal. They're adding red mana, so maybe there's some sort of red payoff in their deck? I don't know. Song of Creation. There we go. We see it. We're in trouble. Okay. Brain freeze. Draw. Let's uh, attack them. I could pull back two and send those at the Narset, but I don't think that really matters. So they'll go to three here. We have to pass. There's a good chance we're just dead, but we'll see what happens. Yep. Empty, not fast enough. Okay, our opponents continue to just cast a whole bunch of spells here. Discarding their hand, and it looks like they're about to flash back an echo. They have multiple copies of Brain Freeze. Come on, seven lands. Bounces my goblin, not very nice. Yep. And our opponent's going to brain freeze us. Sure. You got it. Okay. Um what to do? Do we want ley lines? I'm not sure if we actually do here. Then again, relay seems pretty bad. I'll try this out, I suppose. It That just felt pretty miserable to face. Like, the fact that this deck just, like, doesn't have a real sideboard that interacts outside of, like, having exactly Leyline of the Void, I'm not a super big fan of. I've always, uh, the way that, when, if you look at an Epic Storm sideboard, you'll notice that, like, I have Chain of Apron, Abrupt Decay, and Carpet and Relay are more blue cards, but you have plans for more matchups. And I try to keep my wishboard pretty small, where the wishboard in this deck is just gigantic. This hand's terrible. 
Am I supposed to keep this? It just doesn't do anything. I don't know. Mountain and go. All right, so they played a bridge. We'll draw. That's the turn. Bobble. Forecast. Come on, Ancient Tomb. I'll take that. Play the Bergmeister. Force of Will, pitching Song of Creation. They're passing. Five cards, draw. Let's play Reckless Impulse. Yikes. We'll pass here. I can play the Lotus Petal next turn. I don't need a player right now. They still have five cards in hand. Let's play the Petal. Just because we're targeting you. Let's get try to get a Seething Song here. That resolves. Bonus round. Horse Pitching Song. Okay. Burning Wish. Okay. Um, maybe just Relay? Pass the turn. They're going to bobble me. Sure thing. Five cards in hand. Do you have a third Song of Creation? I'm guessing no is the answer, considering that they played a bobble. Okay. Manamorphose. Red, red. Manamorphose again. Red, red. So I can play the tinkering, but if it gets countered, I'm going to feel really bad. Then again, this would only be a relay for three. I think I'm going to go for the bigger play here. Inspired Tinkering. And it resolves. Okay, so now we can relay for four. I have more resources to work with on the following turn. All right, so we've passed the turn. We're in their upkeep main phase now. Narset. Thought cast, okay. They're back up to seven. All right, what can we do here? Guess we start off with the Ancient Tomb Ruby Medallion. Really need this to resolve. Seething Song. Please. Pretty please. They've used two copies of Force of Will already. And they have the third. Heartbreaker. Damn. They just bounced my ley line. That can't be a good sign. And here's the Echo. They have Flusterstorm too, wow. Okay, I would definitely trade Bergy for the two cards I had in my hand. The thing is, I think we've lost this game. They're just casting a whole bunch of spells here. And another Echo. Okay, now we have no hand. They pick up another Echo. All right, so now Brain Freeze is lethal if they have it. Okay. And there it is. All right, so we're now one and three with one match left to go. 
The Best Legacy Podcast? That would be Eternal Glory featuring myself, Bryant Cook, alongside Brian Cobal and Phil Gallagher. We're available on all major podcast platforms and YouTube. The fifth and final round, let's do it. We're facing a player that I've played a number of times in the past on Merfolk, so I would put them on the same thing. And I really think that a card like Galvanic Relay is definitely what we want in a matchup against the blue deck. Opponent on four cards. Maybe they're not on Merfolk. Okay, Mountain Pass of the Churn. There's a Saga, okay. Draw. Burning Wish. That resolves. Let's grab the other Rite of Flame. Pass. There's a Saga, Ancient Tomb. Lines at Diamond. No, oh geez. Okay, so this is just current echoes. They pick up another nurse up. Draw. Sanders doesn't do anything. They can go get another Lion's Eye Diamond on their turn. Play Burning Wish. So that resolves, we'll grab Grape Shot, so that way I can at least Grape Shot the Narset. Okay, pass the turn. They're going to tap the Urza Saga for mana. Mox Opal. And another Narset. Force of Negation. Okay. We can't draw a card due to the Narset. Let's try to play bonus round, I guess. See if they'll force it. Good deal. Relay for three. We've revealed the Manamorphos in there, which isn't what we want. Full Breacher, sure. They find a third copy of Narset. Karn. Grabs the Lion's Eye Diamond, which probably means that they have Echo in hand. And they do. We have Reckless Impulse, Jessica's Will, Manamorphose on our turn. Chalice on two. All right, I'm going to pick this one up. We've lost. Let's go to game two. I mean, I can try boarding in ley lines, but I, I just don't know what we're realistically supposed to do here. Let's get rid of the inspired thinking. I think it's just too much mana in a, against a deck with eight forces in it. I think we can take out the Shatter Skulls. Let's just try this. Sure. Keep. Mountain past the turn. Okay. Draw. Play the Bergy. She hit the table. What? This is where... Oh, I was going to say this is where Hull Breacher comes down, but looks like we caught a break. Interesting. Draw. Let's play Manamorphose to start. Trigger the Bergy. And I'm getting breached. So they'll draw a card. Target them with Jessica's Will. Burning Wish. Storm 4. And they will force it. Sure thing. Land. Galvanic Relay. Six cards. Uh, maybe I should have attacked there. I don't know. They're passing three cards in hand. Ouch. Ruby Medallion. 
Ruby Medallion again. Red spells are so cheap. Bright of Flame. Play the Islet. Chest for Ritual. Let's cast this past in flames. Ugh. Yep. So I could Manamorphose into Leyline, but I'd be giving them a free card. Alright, let's get in. If they block, I think maybe it's a good thing for me. They wisely do not pass. Okay, they have two cards. Chromox, no imprint. Chromox, no imprint. Permit, sure. So their shield's down, but I also have no hand, nothing to do. Alright, Reckless Impulse. Well, that's fairly good. Okay. Um, we can Jessica's Will to play the top three. And it's a free spell. Ouch. Actually, I don't need to do that. This actually just wins, I believe. Because I can go get the cyborg passed in flames. Yes. Going back to the past. Okay, so now we can Burning Wish. Charm 6. Yes. Go grab the Grape Shot. So that way they, they'll know they're dead. I just have to finish casting spells. Right of Flame. Jessica's Will. Reckless Impulse from 10. It's from 11. It's from 12 Grape Shot. Okay, well, we pulled the rabbit out of a hat there. Let's see if we can manage to get the third game and finish this with half of our entry. Just resubmit. I don't think that this hand is good enough. It just is too many lands. Mulligan. Sure, this seems very reasonable. I um, think it's the Bergy that has to go. Let's see if we can try to, you know, pull out a surprise win once again. Shall send one. Clearly, I should have known to get rid of the Rite of Flame. The 8 cast deck really just trail zero? What? Pass. Draw. Hey, that land was terrific. Ruby. That's a breacher. Well, they're hitting their land drops. I'll take 3 to 17. Oh. Nothing matters. This sucks. Pass the turn. Oh, jeez. That is how Chalice of the Void works. You can have all the treasures. All right, they've got it. They can just go get Lattice. So we finished this one and four. Obviously not a great record. Uh, I'll be completely transparent with you. I didn't feel like I was in a lot of these matches. I, like, I try to put on a, a happy face for the camera a lot of the time when I'm getting destroyed. This one was pretty miserable. Uh, I know that Ruby is a entry-level budget deck in a legacy, but it felt really underpowered this league. Maybe it's because I faced a bunch of like combo decks that had, that had interaction, but I just felt really, really far behind. So some of my complaints about the deck, the Shattered Skulls don't make sense in Ruby. I feel like they make a lot more sense in the Epic Gamble because like, it's not like I ever want to cast this card. So it's just a land that lightning bolts me. I think I'd rather just see sandstone needles because like you we have a bunch of cards that cost three that we're trying to play like Bergy and Jessica's Will, Seething Song, Bonus Round. Like sandstone needle makes a lot of sense. And on top of that, it's another way to accelerate into Ruby Medallion. And I felt like we were just lacking that in this league. So I'd be interested in those. 
the desperate ritual as a one of doesn't make a lot of sense to me like the two shatter skulls in this desperate ritual should probably be sandstone needles maybe you cut a land somewhere i'm not quite sure but this stack is super mana hungry and i always felt like i never had enough mana so i'd start to look there um and then in the sideboard I think some of this cute stuff just has to go. Like, I understand that when you're copying Burning Wish 12 times, you can grab your entire sideboard, but we just didn't have enough in so many matchups where I felt helpless in the post-board games. So I'd like to fix that in the post-board, or in the sideboarding structure if we can. That's my truthful evaluation of the deck. I hope you enjoyed at least some of this league. I know that it kind of sucked, but Leon, thank you for the donation deck. I do appreciate it and you for supporting the channel, but yikes, this was a disaster. I'll see you next time. Keep storming and thank you for watching. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.